Well, doping has evolved and what it means uh, in, over the years and from uh, Dutch origins and so on. But doping really is the um, use of a, a prohibited substance or a prohibited method to gain unfair athletic advantage. Now, there's many different interpretations of what doping and definitions doping is, but fundamentally, it's using prohibited substances and prohibited methods to gain unfair athletic advantage. Well, we have a very comprehensive process. Uh, it's a process that brings together, uh, on an annual basis, uh, about a dozen individuals who are experts uh, in sports medicine, pharmacology, medicine, pharmacy, all the related disciplines. And we sit down each year and we look at the list of substances that had been previously prohibited and see what adjustments we must make to that list. We just completed that process. I happen to chair that committee. And we came up with recommendations for the list for January 2009. We're always one year anticipating the following year. That will then be circulated to about 1,200 stakeholders throughout the world. And they will come back and look at that list and make recommendations. Traditionally, it may be as many as 50 to 100 pages of people who are going to comment, or 50 to 100 pages of comments from people who felt one substance should be on or another substance should not be on and so on. That will come back to our committee again, and we'll make the appropriate revisions, and then eventually that will go on to the executive of the World Anti-Doping Agency and come out for... Uh, the official position. We always have it posted on all the websites of all sporting bodies October 1 of the year prior to it going into effect. So all the athletes will at least have at least three months to see what modifications may have been made so they don't inadvertently wind up with a doping violation because they weren't aware of the changes. Mm -hmm.